man if you watch the reaction to episode three it just felt so real you could you could probably definitely tell it felt so real like i felt nauseous the unfortunate circumstances that continue to befall all of these characters in which we really like just can't get a break especially powder powder wanting to help out killed everybody great episode though it really pulled the emotions uh, i think they accomplished so much with the story they're trying to tell here but yeah i'm excited to hop into it thanks for watching with me over on patreon um i have my chocolate ready i have some lemonade so i have sugar maybe that'll help me feel good and not depressed but surely it can't get worse heimerdinger what do you think about all this stuff going on see where we did all he has to be our city is about to turn 200 years old sheesh Shaping up. Progress Day. That's the name of the episode. What happens on Progress Day? He built either exploded, melted, or over. <laughs> See, like failed yet, at everything. He, stands. he has a statue. He realized hmm. nothing he could accomplish could compare to the contributions of his students. I had he would pave the way for success to come from other people. He was the failure model. The council has recommended you give the Progress Day speech this year. But he's the one giving it does he not look like way more tired than usual here is that just me he's been working hard you deserve this honor so this has got to be a little bit of time after everything that had happened before so maybe this technology has been accepted now victor and i have just a thing the next chapter because so we're going to the next chapter we just discovered it the last one so it has to be a bit of a time skip maybe wow dude we looking better than ever out here we're looking rich out here. That's that middle of the high class for real. This is how far it's come, huh? What do you know? <laughs> I mean, we made transportation better. There's no telling what else we did. Probably like fix world hunger at this point with X deck. Like performers and festivals going on. A huge festival. Look, he's even on a banner. Yeah, this is definitely down the road. He looked older. I knew he did. I was double guessing myself. Everybody loves him now. Oh, yeah. Your most famous protege that you tried to kick out originally. It's funny how they switch up like that. It's crazy how they switch up like that. Yo, she's grown too. And tough. Where's Victor? Is that Victor right there? Imagine the strings she pulled to have me posted here. It's your fault, really. She's just an enforcer now. She's just like a guard after all this time. Bro, this must be a while down the road. He looks old, old to me. Like stressed out, kind of old. Fun hurting the drunkards. <laughs> Happy progress day! Happy progress day, boys! Let's go! Everybody, fist bumps, come on. Uh oh, yeah. Uh -oh. Nominous mask figure. <laughs> This dude, he was a part of the fight with everything in Vander last time, the big brute that's on Silco's team. I can't remember names for the life of me. Oh no, they're marked with X's. That probably means bad stuff. Shipping manifest from your friend <gasps> downtown. There she is. She got like the scar on her face and everything, man. Oh! oh shit, the firelight! Firelights, is that their new name? The, the group? Why is this like green goblin like bombs? It turned it into crystals. What is this technology? Yo, the movement's so clean. Okay, you didn't have to be that smooth with it. You're the bad guys, I'm not supposed to like you. There's the stuff that killed Vander essentially. Uh oh. Uh oh. Now they're gonna be trapped down here with the stuff. Gonna like drown in it probably or something. She's here. She's here. She? This is time skip, so maybe it's one of our main girls. Oh gosh. <laughs> Little swing, it's homing us. Boom! Wait! Was that blue hair? It's really long hair though. I'm calling it, it's gonna be an older powder. Because the bombs and the blue hair and the finesse to it too, like all the 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 boom and whatnot. I know that blue hair. 
Yo! She's so big! She's so grown! What has happened to my daughter? Oh, sh man. Her, she's developed. I don't know how to feel. Okay, she's slick with it. It has the coolest design I've ever seen. Man. Oh. Oh no! It's gonna be PTSD her whole life now because you're a jinx. Oh, oh! It just looked similar to to Vi. He just triggered her that much. The terror in her eyes. Oh. It's not actually Vi, it just looked a lot like her. You are supposed to go oh. with the cargo. So now she's gonna get in trouble for all the PTSD she has. I was just about to make a comment about how well adept she is in the fighting zone now. How much further she's come in terms of combat. But now this is what's gonna hold her back, is the past. The look she gives her. Heimerdinger believes science should be used to improve lives as much as we do. We just need to Dude, Victor, are you okay, my man? I barely even noticed how old uh, Jace looked when we started this. I mean, he does when you really look at him. I hardly caught that. I was so caught up in like the whole Heimerdinger and him interaction stuff. But jeez, Victor, has Victor been through the ringer for this research? Built the hex gates like they asked. It's now they have so many requests for their magic. Hextech. Look at the little like dog thing. I just noticed. So cute. Hextech was supposed to bring magic into the life of the common man, and now it Cause they've stabilized it. It's no longer that wild thing that powder used to destroy her family. Whoa, whoa, wait. <laughs> oh Whoa. <laughs> it's so cute, whatever that thing is. We found the means to fortify the crystals. Nice, so it didn't explode. We present to you. The next chapter of Hextech. It's like a Thanos glove. What is this? The F Infinity Stones? Stone can power virtually anything. Just one stone for that arm. Okay, it's pretty cool though. <laughs> Got the gorilla grip arms! Without fatigue. The hex claw. Wow. The progress. The caricature business to the moon. I want Hextech to be a tool for us to build a new world. And now it's finally possible. Oh, dear God. It's not going to be as stable as they thought. That poor creature. I don't know what that thing is. Amazing, gentlemen. You should be very proud. Obviously they, the way they look at each other kind of worries me a little bit. He's like, oh, thank God. That kind of went well. Okay, we 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 weren't we weren't ready with the final product yet. We were just showing it, and it went well. Some screws to be tightened, but give it a decade of careful research, and it will be ready. A decade. A decade. Improving lives with Hextech now. A breakthrough like mm, this. You gotta go slow. Putting that kind of power. I agree fully with with him. For a way to safeguard Hextech against misuse. <sighs> He's like, bro, I've already lost 90 years of my life trying to research this stuff. I can't afford another 10. I'm gonna be in the grave. You don't know I got to say, Metro. You don't know? You got no idea? Okay. And then the stamp we have for approval. Man, the shell casings left behind and everything. Lots of evidence at the scene. Hopefully no fingerprints come into play. I don't think we'd have fingerprints of powder anyways. Wow. She distinctly mapped that out. Oh, he was left behind? Oh, I feel like it's a trap. It's crazy. Easy. She shot me. Oh, powder. Caitlin Kiriman. Why does that not surprise me? Marcus. Wait a minute. This the dude? This the dude? Uh, that, 
started the whole thing with with Benzo, I think was his name, getting killed. Whoever was killed in front of Vi. During an investigation again. You're supposed to be guarding your mother. Well, he looks like such a, a prick. But she doesn't need it, and clearly this takes priority. I realize you're used to getting your way, Kiriman. Those eyebrows look like they need some command themselves, brother. You need to get a trimmer and fix them up. Why are they pointing to the moon? Are they the stock market? What the heck? Where did this come from? Look, I'm running out of a rave. This is the underground now, post van they're existing. The last drop, it's still open. It's like an EDM club now. Like they probably own it. Yo, where am I? They're doing illegal substances. Shots. I don't drink, but it looks fun. There are always mishaps in battle. Silk, oh, there he is. The fire lights were her target, and most are dead. What if it was kind of on purpose, though? She just go like crazy. Your job to make sure things went smoothly. That's true. You failed. Don't disappoint me again. Silk, still look ugly. Topsiders are leaving us further and further behind. What happened? Oh, she's up there listening. Is she going by Jinx now too? Oh, it wasn't just a say. <laughs> That's her name now. One of those Dang. Fire -like wackos with a girl. Is it looked like you know who. Yeah, she's so grow. I know, sisters, right? You can't live with them, can't stuff them back <laughs> in the old baby maker. <laughs> <laughs> she's so copium. The sons and daughters of Zon deserve more than their runoff she's just been so indoctrinated what is this what does it even do yeah it jabs him with a little bit of that good good yeah i, I don't need time take it anyhow i feel as if the dynamic for them has totally shifted to that paternal uh relationship so she almost views him how she viewed Vander at one point. The only one actually worth my time is him. The golden boy. The big guy. Huh? Everybody doubted at first. He's so famous now. Devil. There he is. He's got even got like very pristine clothes on. Looks royal almost. To what do I owe the pleasure? It's Heimerdinger. He doesn't believe in this dangerous magic again. Hextech has the potential to change everything. But in what way, sister? In what way? Give the people a glimpse of the future. I feel bad for Jace because I can see he's being put into this pressure situation. It's no longer just about the development of things that can help society. It's about money. Is this a uh, jinx? This feels weird to call it jinx. Powder Jinx's new playground development lab. It wasn't. The day they do meet again, which they will. Vika will clean it up. So Vika's a regular Johnny on the spot. This traumatic event has caused some mental issues. Oh, I'm gonna show him. Y'all see. Anybody else scared? It's just me? Okay, cool. I'm glad we're on the same page. Dude, Victor needs a day off, brother! Go get a drink! Maybe some like vitamin C or something. Frick the speech. Throw it to the wayside. I love how all of them believed in you from the beginning. They knew what would happen. My family and I are simple people. In our factory, we made hammers. They were probably oh. used to cut. I always believed in that boy. A few years ago, the Hexgates opened their ports to the world and made Piltover prosper beyond anything we could have ever... Such advancements. I stand for that. No, I stand for that too. We're not done yet. You're doing the thing. He's doing the thing. Herman Dinger's gonna be like, bro. Here, we created something new for you. <laughs> Herman Dinger's like, what do you mean? Something that's you make a new cell phone or something? That we... We'll share with you in 10 years, in 10 years, in 10 years, when the time is right, my boy, good boy, smart man. Why is everybody so disappointing? I don't know what it is. We vow to keep pressing forward for we are the city of progress and our future is bright. That's my daddy. Let's go. Going off the rails. 
Oh. Bro, you are not serious. Palace boy was some kind of genius. Last year, didn't he launch a blimp halfway across the continent? Airship, actually. Can't get it right, idiot. You bring your name in me. Pardon us if we aren't quite so refined as you, my lady. Yeah, you might need some dental work too. Refine those teeth a little bit. See, this is where the tragedy unfolds. That doesn't sound like a real baby. This is like a like a doll. It's fate! You dummies! Oh, that's so depressing! Oh, she's not lying! Awesome. I brought this dynamite. Oh yeah. They're gonna try to steal the advance and steal technology from up here. Yeah, there she is. Jinx, I don't know how to feel now, man. I'm a helpless little girl and I accidentally started this fire. Those bombs were a signature move of her biggest point of pain. The gemstone is gone, Gary. Stole the gemstone. Even she even left like one of those like Sly Cooper, oh I stole your stuff markers. You know, whenever you steal something in the game, you leave it behind. Classic the thief move. No one in the she, she didn't even steal. She like wrecked the room too. Um, poverty. It's crazy that the person she just stole from was the same guy they originally stole from too. They have like no contact. They've come up with so much themselves. If the right person got a hold of it, it's possible they could utilize its energy we need to address man that technology being in their hands is going to be interesting responsibility to safeguard this technology and i failed my mistake cost people their lives he's too busy being a front man this technology operations until the situation is resolved including our laboratory but what about the money jace and the hex gates. my investments it's must remain open piltover status as a global shipping lane depends on it thousands would lose their income i get that but what if they lost their lives we shut down the hex gates the city will suffer but if we do nothing the city will suffer more lives may be lost perhaps the time has come to explore a more radical to go down there ourselves and attack chair be brought forth and that house talus be elevated to this august body oh wow this is highly irregular the council has held seven seats for generations. So if we raise the seat and give them funds, it might actually help though. Scientist, like Heimerdinger. What do you think they're gonna build with this though? Powder and Silco and everybody. Yeah. She's so like unruly and wild. I love it. <laughs> dead. Enforcers, dead. <laughs> Do you see the way she nodded? I do. We got the good good. <laughs> Bro, this character is done so perfectly. She, dude. So many elements about this room. I, I could go over forever. But they have done this so perfectly. Look at this. Look. I didn't even realize at first that she has like elements of her old friends and everything in this room just chilling to make it kind of feel like a shrine almost. I just got my dad a mug that said world's best dad on it. She kind of one up me. I've had a break in the case. Shouldn't you be resting? While the trail is hot. Listen. She's going to go after herself. Same symbols showed up at the botched smuggling operation at the hex gates. The hex gates? Yeah, because she, she leaves that stuff all behind. The attack on the square changes things. They've overstepped. If I can figure out who made this, it could lead me directly to whoever's- so she's an investigator for real? This out. Marcus if we can have something substantial to present, yeah, we can go after him. But it feels impossible when somebody's like actually kind of close with them. Since I... Am. Oh, they actually voted for him. We're going to get more money. Hoping you might consider joining my staff. Oh. <gasps> A job. Okay, well that's kind of lame. Yours or my parents. Okay. Get out. Dang. I see his. He's in such a tough spot with some of these things, man. 
Jay's really be put in the middle of having to just decide between helping what people want or what's right. She might have a serious lead here. She's going here now? I'm afraid that's not possible. Why not? Uh, well, there's been an incident. Uh-oh. Oh, <gasps> pretty kind. Oh, was he taken out? Oh, you'll be able to as soon as he can. Is that Jinx? That's her. Who assaulted him? She came behind to make sure he won't rat or snitch. Or maybe it was somebody else. Oh my god, it's not! It's the guy that makes way more sense! Oh my god, I'm such an idiot! Okay, she got a reason to be pissed at him specifically. That makes a lot of sense. You were involved with my dad's death. Ah, it's on her face! <laughs> At first, I was like, is that Jinx? Because, like, maybe she wanted to come in and like, beat him down so she, he didn't talk about anything. He, like, slipped into jail and slipped out in, like, a Jinx way or whatever. The question I was putting in the back of my mind because of everything else going on that's just wowing me this episode was, where is Vi? I didn't think about it. But if you remember, she was taken away by Marcus, I believe it was, or at least one of the enforcers. And now where else to put her other than jail? She even got more tats, got the Vi on her face. She looking right. She looking ready to fight. We are having such a build up to these sisters meeting again. There's just so much detail to be processed about episode four with the mannerisms and the, the behavior of Powder, who is now Jinx. There's so many differences between how she, she was and is now because of that trauma, because of the stress she's been under, because of this life she's probably lived with Silco. It's crazy. She's definitely, uh, changed a lot i don't know if it's exactly for the best but we have now the the power of the hex tech in our hands which if there's anybody in the world who i want to have hex tech power it's the bad guy <laughs> okay well hey vi and powder are gonna have some kind of meat again i don't know if i should call it powder or a jinx i think i should call it jinx from now on yeah what a time skip that was very well paced great episode i move on to the next one thanks for watching all right